These are the most insane farms that have ever been built in Minecraft. So today we're going to look over some of the most insane farms and machines ever built in Minecraft because that's cool and I'm bored. Alright, so number one, everyone's probably thinking of this, the EOL mob farm. Now, this one's not working. It took me an hour and I still couldn't find a working download. This is the best I got. But this produces supposedly about 2.4 million drops per hour. No, 1.5. Something like that. A lot, an insane amount of drops per hour. Absolutely insane farm. But it's barely, you can barely say this is possible in survival. It's a stretch to say that. I know people have done it, but it's really hard. And this is an absolutely insane feat of Minecraft engineering. And it's a very historic farm. And it's very cool. Okay, so for the second one, we have the fastest sand duper in Minecraft that I'm aware of. After some research, I came across this amazing design by Comedian. That's his channel name. There's a tag right up there. You should totally go watch this channel. This guy is a genius. I don't know what on earth is going on here, but... I don't even know how to turn this thing on. Don't blow up. Oh, you can't see much behind these particles, but it looks like it's, it throws sand in here extremely fast. Yeah, oh yeah, here, so you can see them being pushed in super fast. I loaded. Where is everything? Yeah, essentially, as you can see, this thing is insane. I'll put up a picture of what it looks like when it's spewing stuff. But yeah, this is pretty darn insane. I don't know how to set it up, and also I don't have weeks and weeks to make this. I only get one. But yeah, so that's that farm and now let's move on to the next insane one okay and for the most insane free farm that i have ever seen we have the scorpio d l o u t f or something like that made by the youtuber scorpio this tree farm it's not the fastest out there but it is the most impressive since it can do all well not all five good types it can do five wood types i feel like that's pretty darn insane after a bit of hassle, here we go. You can see the tree logs are being pushed in. And that's very cool, very quickly. This is a very fast farm. Again, I know it's not the fastest, but it is the most impressive scene as it can do so many wood types. And that's all for tree farms. Now let's move on to the next farm. Now it is time for raid farms. This is the Scorpio's... Raid Farm V3, which as uh, far as I know from the time of filming this is the fastest one in the world, and here's how it works. So I go back down here to start a raid, make sure this is off. Then I hit the armor stand one time to cancel the raid out, and then I go over here, wait for the pillagers to spawn. There we go. Turn on safety mode. And I do player me come on attack interval of 10 ticks and then it starts working and this is such a insanely fast time if you notice that I'm at level 6 right now so I'll let this run for approximately a minute or two and we'll see what level I'm at when I'm done showing you guys a tutorial. So down here we have the beacon giving me all these effects. And here let's watch this stuff flow in. It produces a obscene amount of items. Here I'll put the amount of items it produces per hour up on screen. This is mind blowing. You need to run it like for three hours once and then you're done. You have all these villagers down here. Also, appreciate how fast my hunger bar is going down. That's pretty insane. That's why you have regeneration. You have the villagers getting job switched. Now it's really going. You can see that the raids are starting up. It takes a little bit to go get to full speed, but here now you can see that's going at full speed. Or not. Yeah. 
As Burstword's doing really well, as Burstword has a little bit of a break. But notice I've already gained like 20 levels from this, and look at all these freaking items. It, it can't even catch all of them. And it uses this storage slice. I'm not sure if this is the one with the farm or something that I designed. I'm pretty sure it's the one that came with the farm. And it's really cool and super fast. I actually use this for all my farms. I just made a light matic of it when I started using this farm. It's a super fast auto sorter that I love. I use it for all my farms. I don't know how it works because it sorts items faster than hoppers usually work. If anyone knows how that works, please tell me down below in the comments. But I love this farm, it blows my mind. You can see there's saddles. And to stop the farm, you just turn safety mode back on. And the farm has been stopped. So now let's just look at some of the stuff. I probably have had this for a total of like five or six hours and I have taken a bunch of stuff from it. Now the most effective gunpowder, emerald, redstone farm, also the most effective glowstone farm, sugar cane, sugar farm, stick farm, and some more emeralds. But yeah, this farm is absolutely amazing. The one drawback with this farm is it goes through shulker boxes like crazy. I'm betting that that little bit that I just did probably chewed up like mm, probably 20 shulker boxes. But yeah, this farm is absolutely crazy. And here is the fastest gold farm to my knowledge. This farm is designed by Nembon. And now's a good time to mention that ev all the links to every single farm in this video that I'm showing are in the description. So go show the creators lots of love for their amazing creations. You see a piglin's going through? Now, here is the kill chamber. You can see how fast these things are coming through. This is a pain to build and survive. As you can see, you'd have to do portal splicing. But, you can see the items going here. So this gold farm makes about 87,000 gold nuggets per hour. It is absolutely mind blowing. And let's move on to the last farm. This is the iron farm designed by Nico. I'm lost. Uh, I kind of designed the kill chamber myself, so it's not quite working right now. But this thing is absolutely insane. You can see how quickly it's producing new iron golems. Or was. Yeah, there we go. This is a... I've had this on for like, not even a minute, and this farm is incredibly fast, to my knowledge, just the fastest iron farm. So if I look at it, uh, I don't know how this farm works, but yeah, it sends through iron golems at a impressively fast rate, as you can see in the nether. See if we can see any of them spawning. Yep, you can see one on the top layer. This is much faster than any other nether iron farm that you'll have. Yeah, um, I didn't design the kill chamber right, but you can see my point. This is an extremely fast iron farm. It's pretty insane. Yeah. So, that's it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I post a video every week. And I think they're pretty good. This year I took a lot of research, so that would be a lot of help to me. So, yeah, that's all for this video. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next one.